the Lord was the great narrator. The stories, the parables, the images that he gave mankind will be told and retold until the end of time. Children and adults listen to a story and that of this day, that famous story of the, well it should be called the merciful father rather than the prodigal son because the father is actually the goody, the gentle hidden centre of that, indicating the heart of God. This story does it through. It hits the heart. It's psychologically accurate. All the dynamics of human relationship and reaction are there. Envy and jealousy. Goodness and mercy. Pride and then abjection. It's all there. And there are two sections to it. There's one special one for the reaction of the other son. We notice how the father, when he was yet a long way off, saw him coming. We were hearing a sermon based entirely on this when yet still a Baptist, and every detail was pulled out. He would have been looking every day. He wouldn't abandon hope. And then this well-prepared speech, he cut it short. He wouldn't let him finish it. The gestures say all. Oh. And then the other one. And there again, in perfect accuracy, this son of yours. And he goes into detail about his way of spending his money, his heritage, the father's goodness therefore, on his harlots. This is good teaching. And they say that the shortest distance between the human heart and the truth is a story. So good storytelling it's something that we can listen to and imitate when handling not only children, but also when preaching. For the visual aid is what the Lord used, just in his case, through the parable. Jesus, the good teacher, teach me to teach, and teach me also to want to serve, to actually have a thirst for one soul who is classed as beyond the pale, a useless case, the prodigal. Give me your vision of what that soul can yet do, the possibility of restoring that soul to sonship, clothing him again with joy in grace. Lord, grant that not one soul that passes through me or comes to me will be lost. Give me the word, the regard, the message, the story, whatever it may take, to bring one soul today to you. For if not, that soul will go to a distant land and spend his heritage with Harlem. Lord, one soul would have been enough to bring you to the cross. You would have died for one soul. And so give me your compassion, the gentle Father's love and mercy for one poor soul, who for whatever reason has botched up his existence and is content to feed himself on the husks of the swine that secretly remembers where he's come from and says to himself, homeward bound, I wish I was. Home is grace, home is 
you, Lord. Um, it's your family. And there's music playing. Angelic music. For which our soul is made. Jesus, remember. 